Must eat foods in Singapore part 1. You have to eat Hainanese chicken rice. This dish is such a staple for a quick and filling lunch. Although it may sound simple, the fragrant rice cooked in chicken stock topped with tender chicken dipped in ginger oil will definitely be one of the tastiest meals you'll have here. One of my favorite dishes in Singapore is bakute. It's a pork bone soup that's very peppery and cooks with lots of garlic and mild herbs. I like this soup because it's so comforting and I love eating it with fried Chinese donuts. You also can't forget to try chandal. It's a sweet, icy dessert usually consisting of coconut milk, palm sugar syrup, and green rice jelly. Singapore gets hella hot and this is the perfect treat to cool you down. Must try foods in Singapore part 2. You can't leave Singapore without trying laksa. It's a spicy noodle soup that's usually cooked with coconut milk and topped with fish cake, tofu, seafood, and herbs. This dish is so flavorful and if you find the right place, you'll probably want to order two bowls. If you watched Crazy Rich Asians, then you probably have heard of satay. They're seasoned skewered meats that's grilled and usually dipped with a peanutty sauce. This dish is great sharing with friends or just having a plate by yourself. Lastly, you have to find ice cream sandwiches on the streets of Singapore. They're a fun little cheap snack to cool you off from the heat. The vendor cuts a brick of ice cream and wrap it between two wafers and I recommend paying a little bit extra for the slice of rainbow bread since it's fun to have. Must try foods in Singapore part 3. There's nothing more simple and delicious than prawn noodles, also known as ha mi. This dish can be dry or soupy with lots of prawn and pork flavor. I love how this dish is topped with slices of pork, fish cake, shrimp, and lots of shallots. You also can't go wrong with the roasted meats here in Singapore. You can choose between pork, duck, and other varieties on top of a bed of rice or noodles. They're juicy, fatty, and the crispy roasted skin is the best part. Lastly, you definitely have to try curry puffs. It's a crispy crimped pastry that's deep fried and stuffed with a savory filling, usually consisting of curried potatoes, eggs, minced meat, and or sardines. It's a great snack with lots of spiced flavor. Must try food in Singapore part four. Every country has their own version of breakfast and you gotta try Singapore breakfast. Usually it consists of soft boiled eggs, choice of coffee or tea, and kaya toast. My favorite part of this meal is definitely the kaya toast, which is literally just slices of bread with butter and kaya jam that's made from coconuts, eggs, and pandan. The ingredients are so simple, but it's so delicious. If you want to eat it like the locals, try dipping the toast into the eggs for a nice, sweet, salty, rich, and creamy bite. I also recommend ordering the kaya French toast because it's buttery, eggy, and just bomb overall. Must try foods in Singapore Singapore part 5. Singapore is a mixture of different cultures and one of them is Indian. I love checking out all the Indian food they had in this country and my favorite dish that I discovered is roti prata. It's a flatbread that's crispy on the outside and soft and chewy on the inside. If you love carbs, you'll definitely love this. Next, you have to check out minced pork noodles or bok chow mi. You can find this hearty dish usually at hawker centers and can be made dry or soupy. It usually comes with dumplings, meatballs, liver, slices of pork, and crunchy fried fish. 